Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Siren Emote, which offers some cool interactivity for streamers, uh, which can display messages like this across the microphone. Let's check it out! Thanks for watching 9to5toys! Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Razer has been firmly planted in the gaming industry for quite a while, and is coming out with more and more products aimed at streamers. With their latest microphone release, the Siren Emote, it offers something brand new to the streaming world, interactive graphics right on the microphone itself. It all comes together through Razer's new program, the Streamer Companion app. So obviously the Siren Emote is aimed directly at streamers. I mean, if you aren't expecting some sort of audience interaction, then you probably want to look for a different microphone like the Razer Siren X, which is uh, $99 list price and the Siren Emote is $180. So you're definitely paying a little bit more for that screen, for that interaction, but that could be something that could, you know, set you apart a little bit, make it a little bit more fun for your audience, which is what Razer is hoping for. So as a microphone, the Siren from Razer has already built a decent reputation for itself. And this uh, body style is basically the Siren X, which is a little bit smaller than the full-fledged Siren. Um, but then obviously on the uh, front of here, they've built in a screen so that you can show different interactive displays um, through like Twitch and Streamlabs. And so we'll be taking a closer look at the Streamer Companion app in a little bit here to see how you actually set up some of those different commands. First, let's start off with some of the basics of the microphone. Uh, it does have a gain knob on the front here and also a mute button. And as far as actual, you know, physical buttons on the microphone, that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's no adjusting the polar pattern or anything like that. That's all built in. So another cool thing with the Siren Emote right out of the box is that uh, Razer sends a attachment, an extender, if you want to actually lift it up and, you know, get a little bit closer, a little bit better position to your mouth for recording. So we'll go ahead and pop that on real quick. So as you can see, even right there, it gets a little bit higher, a little bit closer to your mouth. Um, so that's gonna give you a little bit better audio and it's gonna display your interactions a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and play one real quick. So just a little more prominent, a little bit more easy to see. But you can also get a you know really simple boom arm. Now we did a video on like a Amazon bestseller, like a $16 uh, boom arm that you, that you can get for microphones. Um, so it's also really easy just to get one of those and then mount the Razer Siren Emote on that. And then you can position it wherever you want. Another cool feature built into the Streamer Companion app is that you can actually rotate this display um, you know, based on what orientation you have the mic. So if you have it on a boom arm and have it horizontal rather than vertical, uh, you can rotate the display, the uh, little graphic on there so that it will still, you know, show properly. So a few of the hardware features here of the Razer Siren Emote uh, does have a built-in uh, shock mount, which should help reduce some vibrations and some noises. You're probably still gonna get some. If it's, you know, hard mounted, you'll probably still get a little bit. Um, but the shock mount helps to alleviate that. It's also a hypercardioid uh, polar pattern, so that makes it just much more directed um, right you know, away from the mic. So it's gonna do a better job of reducing ambient noise and kind of cutting out some of that background noise, which is something that you'll definitely want when you're streaming. Besides microphone volume and playback volume, because there is a headphone out on the bottom of the Siren Emote, uh, there aren't any other controls within the Razer Synapse 3 uh, application. So if you want to, you know, adjust some of the sound and the EQ and everything, you'll need a third-party application to do some of that. And that's something that's kind of nice about uh, the latest microphone from Blue. The uh, Yeti X actually has this whole Blue Voice suite uh, that ships with it that makes it extremely easy to um, add a, quite a few effects to your voice. Uh, that's something that, you know, if you're looking to really easily adjust your voice um, and aren't too worried about the graphics on the screen here, that would be another option you could look for. So obviously I've been recording this whole video with the Siren Emote so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. So I'll do a little comparison here between the raw audio and then usually I put a little bit of effects on my voiceovers. So we'll do a little bit of a comparison between that. Hi, this is Jordan from 9to5toys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And then here's with some effects popped back on. Hi, this is Jordan from 9to5toys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.
Overall, I think it sounds pretty great. And when I'm playing games with my friends on Discord, I mean, they you know usually comment that it sounds pretty good. They can usually tell when I've switched to a different microphone because uh, this is the one that I usually use because of its small form factor. Some of the other ones like the HyperX Quadcast, I really like the features of it and you know the touch to mute button on top but it is large and just kind of gets in the way. Uh, so I really like the small form factor of the Razer Siren Emote. All right, so now let's get into a little bit of the magic uh, that comes with the Siren Emote in the form of the Streamer Companion app. So the first thing that you need to do when you get in is to set up your connections. Um, so I have a Twitch account. I don't do any streaming, or at least not yet, um, but I do watch some Twitch, so I have an account. So I linked that, uh, which was really simple. It just opens it up in a browser and you connect to it. So then going back to your dashboard, this is where you can actually uh, test all the different alerts that you have set up. Uh, you can change the different you know, subscriptions, either a general or a gifted. You can put in the cheers amount, um, all the different chat messages, different you know rate amounts. So obviously all these commands can be enabled or disabled and uh, set to different amounts as well. You know, if you're a larger streamer who gets a lot of cheers and don't want, you know, your lights to constantly be going crazy, you know, you can set a certain amount. So it'll only trigger after a certain, you know, level of donation. But if you're just starting out and want interaction from every single little thing, uh, then you can set that, you know, down low and then your audience will get lots of interaction and, you know, really play up that interactive ability in your stream. So I do have a couple set up already, so we'll test those out first. Uh, we'll hit the follows button. And so then as you can see, the emojis popping up on here um, and that'll last for 12 seconds, but that can obviously be changed uh, within the app as well. So popping over to the alert tab, uh, this is where you can actually set something up. So this is where you can see on the follows, um, you know, this is what we saw when I hit the uh, follow test button, this little um, emote popping up here. So we'll remove that, start from scratch, just to show you how to set it up. Um, so we'll go back to follows, you turn it on, add a device. Obviously we want the siren. Uh, they also have the headphones and then um, all your different Razer Chroma devices. You can actually, actually get those in here too, which is pretty cool. And we'll talk about this Chroma link here in a minute. So we'll click on the siren emote. And then uh, this is where you can change your emote to whatever you want. Obviously they have a lot that are already built in, uh, which is pretty cool. And so you have a lot. A lot to choose from in here. Uh, we're just gonna do the plus one for follow and we can test it. And as you can see, it's popping up on there. Um, so right out of the bat, you can see that it's working on there, which is pretty cool. And then we'll set up a different one for subscriptions, something a little bit, you know, a little bit more intense since uh, that's, a, that's a bigger deal if someone subscribes rather than just follows. So um, we're gonna leave this set to uh, let's go, which is obviously a pretty uh, common uh, streamer phrase there. And then as you can see over here, we have the other Chroma devices. And so I'll remove this and add a new one. Uh, another cool thing that you can do within the Streamer Companion app is set up um, other devices. Um, for example, I have some Philips Hue lights that I have set up on the different sides here. In the intro to this video, you could see them lighting up in Razer's fire effect. And so that was all done through the Streamer Companion app as well. So we'll set that up real quick. So we'll hit add device, Chroma Link devices, add, and then this is something that you have to have set up from Razer Synapse. So going back over to Razer Synapse, um, we'll go over to the Hue module. And so as you can see, they're labeled kind of funny, but I've got them both in here. And you can select all to get both of them. And then um, once you have this set up, you can see over here it says the streamer companion app is currently controlling your device's lighting. So we'll hop back over and then uh, we should be able to test this and hopefully those go off. Yep, yeah, and as you can see, um, it's set to spectrum cycling right now, so they're just going to go through a bunch of different colors um, throughout the duration that you have selected here. So we'll actually pop that up to 12 seconds to match the other one. And then I'm going to change this to fire, which is what we had in the intro. And so you can see uh, they start going like that, kind of adding, you know, just like a little pop. And so then you know, when you're streaming, anytime someone were to subscribe, uh, the let's, let's go text would pop up on here and your lights would start going in the back, whatever you have set up. And obviously, you know, with the Philips Hue, there are quite a few more bulbs and strips and a whole bunch of other stuff that you can get connected. So then the next tab in here is the editor. Uh, and then here you can actually create your own graphics uh, to put in here. And you can um, import some as well if you want. 
Uh, so what we're gonna do here is go to Razor Siren Emote, hit the plus, add a new one, and you can just um, you know select pixels in here basically and um, draw out or write out whatever you want. And then another thing you can do is um, import uh, GIFs as well. So if you know, create something in another app, something animated, um, you can import that here and have it play. Um, so we'll hit preview on device and it should pop up there. Uh, obviously it's pretty basic, <laughs> not very exciting, but it's just, you know, an example of what you can do with the editor. So it's pretty easy to see how this could be a big hit with streamers, you know, especially streamers who are starting out that want something simple that they can just buy and plug and play. And for the most part, this is plug and play. I had a couple issues getting uh, Razer and Chroma and the emote to all work together when I first started trying it, but then through a series of unplugging and plugging back in um, and talking with tech support a little bit. We were able to get it figured out and it is working consistently now. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun to play around with these interactions. You can easily see how this would be, you know, a good option for a streamer uh, who wants to play off of that interaction from their chat. And you can also see why that wouldn't be appealing to people who aren't streaming. I mean, if you aren't streaming, you really have no use for this screen. Uh, you can turn on, you know, visualizers and have it do other chroma effects, but it's always uh, facing forward. I mean, the microphone is picking up on the backside and the screen is on the front. So you personally will probably not see those visualizations very often, um, but that is something that, you know, if you have it set off to the side, you could, you could have that set up if you really wanted to. So if you're planning on streaming, then the interactive capabilities of the Razer Siren Emo uh, could be pretty appealing to you even though the price point might be a little bit high at $180. Um, and then if you don't need the screen, um, but like Razer and like the sound and their styling, um, Razer also has the Razer Siren X, which is what this is basically based on. You know, it looks the same and that's about $100. So that's another choice that you could pick up. So what do you think of the Razer Siren emote? Should I use this microphone to start streaming and get interactions? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm Jordan with 9to5Toys.